Woods Jr. was a 26-year-old from Maryland. His family described Terrence as adventurous, kind, and extremely smart. Once Terrence graduated from high school, he got accepted to attend the University of Maryland, and he majored in journalism. He was so passionate about becoming a journalist that he ended up being a co-anchor for his college news program. Terrence's family and professors expressed that Terrence always achieved high goals with his academics, and after graduating in 2013, he graduated with a bachelor's degree in journalism. Terrence was actually the first person in his family to graduate from college. So that was a huge accomplishment for Terrence and his family. It was very clear that Terrence had his head on straight. He was a solid young man that had a bright future ahead of him. So after college, Terrence didn't slow down. He flew out to London to study for his master's degree and majored in international relations. So of course, Terrence graduated with his master's degree and while he was still away in London, he wanted to jump straight into work and he reached out to an independent film production company. After he received an interview with the company, they wanted to hire Terrence right away. So once Terrence was hired on, he knew that his career was entering a new level and he was excited. Terrence traveled all over the world with different film crews. After Terrence spent five years away from his family, Terrence wanted to visit Maryland again, but also find work again closer to home. So after moving back to Maryland, he found a job that was a great opportunity for him. The company that he started to work for was Raw TV. On this particular job, Terrence was flying out to a remote location in Idaho. He finally was having his moment to be a TV producer for this British reality TV show called Gold Rush. It was being filmed at Nisper National Forest. So on October 5th, 2018, Terrence was ready to start filming. But on this particular day, his energy was definitely down. He expressed to his supervisor that his mother back home was sick and was due to get surgery soon and she wanted him to be with her. But it was later revealed that it was a lie. Terrence made plans to go back home on October 10th, but he never made it back home. Everyone was so unsure on why was Terrence so eager to get back to Maryland. But before we jump into today's case, I want to take a moment to thank Aura for sponsoring today's video. Have you ever Googled your name and found all of your personal information online, such as your address, phone number, or even emails on public listing websites? It can be quite frustrating, not to mention the spam messages and annoying phone numbers that come along with it. Well, with Aura, you don't have to worry about that anymore. With Aura, all of that will be fixed. Aura is able to identify brokers who expose your information online. The Aura app gives you control over your personal data, offers parental controls, run antivirus software, runs VPNs, and provides identity theft insurance on all of your devices. Aura is always on working hard to keep my personal information safe, allowing me to focus on other tasks with peace of mind. I know one of the reasons I get so many spam texts and calls is because big companies can't keep our data safe. Recently, Ticketmaster was hacked and the data of 560 million users were put up for sale on the dark web. The data stolen includes full names, addresses, email addresses, phone numbers, and even credit card data. At best, this is going to lead to so much more spam, at worst, fraud. So what is Ticketmaster doing about it? Nothing. They said they didn't think the hack would have a material impact on our overall business. All these businesses happily collect our data but do nothing to protect it and that's why I use Aura. I'm not leaving myself and my family vulnerable to data breaches and if you don't want to either, you can go to Aura.com slash Leah and try your first two weeks for free and go ahead and check the link in the description box below. Stop leaving yourself vulnerable to data breaches and see if any of your data has been exposed. Thank you again so much, Aura, for sponsoring today's video, and let's jump back into today's case. On October 5th, 
He was later seen that day talking to a crew member that was in charge of the transportation crew. And he expressed to her that he needed to use the bathroom. But suddenly after that conversation, Terrence was then seen running off into the mountains and running into the forest. Crew members were seen running right behind him because they were concerned for his safety. No one knew what caused Terrence to run away into the forest. After they spent hours of trying to search for Terrence, they stopped searching for him. It was around 6 p.m. in the afternoon and the crew members called the police to file a missing persons report. Now, the Idaho Police Department told the crew that they would have a better chance looking for Terrence in the morning due to the fact that the sun was going down and the weather was getting cold. So on the next day, on October 6th, the Idaho Sheriff's Police Department organized a search party. They used helicopters, dogs, and many resources to help them find Terrence. After hours of them searching for Terrence, they were out of luck. Police theorized quickly that someone might have picked up Terrence from the scene, but police didn't stand firm on that because it was extremely hard to drive around the mountain area. The disappearance of Terrence Woods Jr. was definitely suspicious for investigators because they couldn't figure out why would Terrence run away and just vanish, especially with him receiving this amazing opportunity to join this film crew. So investigators quickly got in contact with Terrence's parents and family. When investigators contacted Terrence's father about his disappearance, he shared disturbing news with the police. He told them that his son never even arrived on set. Despite this crucial piece of evidence on October 11th, Idaho Sheriff's Department informed the public that they believed no foul play was involved. Investigators shared with the family that they would continue the investigation, but stop searching for Terrence. Instead, they would question witnesses and people close to Terrence. They felt they didn't want to waste any more resources looking for him due to the location of his disappearance. Terrence's family felt honestly devastated. They didn't believe that the police were going to help find Terrence. His father felt like there was a deeper cover-up going on and Terrence might have been a victim of a conspiracy. He also found it strange that there was no photos or videos of Terrence in Idaho. He believed that Terrence never arrived at this scene. Terrence only spoke to his dad once, letting him know that he arrived at his hotel. Investigators did express to the family that Terrence did make it to the remote location because they spoke to that same crew member that was on the transportation team that saw Terrence run away into the woods. It was extremely hard for investigators to conclude that Terrence was in danger, so they started to believe that maybe Terrence had a mental breakdown or mental health crisis. After months turned into years of no signs of Terrence Woods Jr., his case became cold with no new leads. It's been almost six years now and his family still believes that there's something way more sinister with Terrence's case. They also don't believe that Terrence had a mental breakdown and decided to just disappear. They still believe that Terrence never made it to the set. His family is still staying hopeful that one day they will definitely reunite with Terrence again. All they wish for is for him to make it back home. But what I find disturbing about this case is the lack of media attention. For him to work for a major company like Raw TV, it's very disturbing to know that he gets this gig and then disappears and is never seen again. I'm praying that this family can find closure. Going on six years now without any solid answers, it, it has to be devastating. This case reminds me a lot of Johannes Kadeen's case. He was also a very intelligent young man, received a job with Netflix, went missing, and his body was later found in a river. Even with that case, there was barely any information available. So I pray that the truth will come out soon concerning Terrence Wood's case. Let's keep this family in our prayers. Father God, we all come together and we pray for the Woods family, Lord. We ask you, Lord God, to intervene with this case, Lord. You, you are a God that knows the truth and you are a God of justice. So I'm asking you, Lord God, that whatever was done in the dark, you reveal it and let it come to the front, Father Lord God. Let it be exposed. 
I pray, Father, Lord God, that any details, any evidence regarding this case that needs to be brought up back out, any witnesses that needs to be um, that needs to come out and speak with investigators. I ask you, Lord God, that you bring all of the truth to the front. We thank you, Father, Lord God, for your protection. I ask you, Lord God, to cover this family with your blood, Lord God. Cover them with peace. Cover them with care. Guide them, Father, Lord God. On the days where they're still waiting for answers, on the days where they still feel maybe stuck, stuck back to six years ago, I ask you, Lord God, that there is a hope and a future, Father, Lord God. According to Jeremiah 29, 11, for you know all of their plans, a plans for, for a future, plans to not harm them. So I ask you, Lord God, to intervene for this family, stand in the gap for this family, Father, Lord God, so that they're able to have rest and a peace of mind. I also pray, Father, Lord God, that you cover my subscribers, every viewer that watches this channel, Lord God, like your will be done, Lord. I ask you, Father, Lord God, that you just cover every viewer, every subscriber from the top of their head to their feet, Lord God. Father, Lord God, I ask you, Lord God, to cover any subscriber that is traveling out of the country, out of the state, traveling to a new job, traveling to a new apartment, Lord. I ask you, Lord God, that you just cover them, Father God, from the top of their head to their feet, because we literally take it for granted. We take it for granted getting, getting back home safely after going out to eat. We take it for granted to get him back home to our apartments after work, get him back home to our families after a long day. We take it for granted, Lord God, because some people don't, they don't make it back home to their families, Lord. So we thank you, Father God, in advance still. We thank you for covering us. We thank you for your, for your protection and your love and your grace and your mercy over our lives. And we just lift you up, Father, Lord God. We lift up the Woods family up to you, Lord God, for the truth, for peace, and for guidance. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next case video.